Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Tobin here with you, coming on as the Miami Dolphins right now are currently en route to a dominant preseason win. What do I got here? I got like two and a half minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Davis Mills, maybe he puts him on a respectable run. I feel like I'm safe enough, you know, dude. I'm not gonna not gonna get crazy for it. Um, whatever happened here on out, I think it's been a pretty good performance from the Miami Dolphins as uh, they are en route to a dominant victory over the Texans. And you got a lot of uh, interesting things that you can chew on from this game. First of all, got to see what I wanted today. When I was doing the uh, the pregame with Omar and with Solana today, you know, trying to talk me out of, oh, you don't want to see Tua. Not all the lines going to be there. No Armstead. We're trying to figure out this whole thing. And I was like, no. I want I, I want the I want Mike McDaniel to wet my whistle a little bit. Give me a little bit of Tua. Not a lot. Two series at the most. That's all I need. And we found out midway through that that uh, the Dolphins were not pulling what they did last week, where they were sitting 30 people. They were playing. Everybody who was basically healthy played. And I thought it was uh was definitely an, an interesting useful day obviously a wild adventure because the first pass that Tua throws was picked off by former Kane and Denzel Perryman who nearly took it to the house and put CJ Stroud and company in just I mean absolutely marvelous positioning to go score and they couldn't the defense held up on a on a uh, great four and out stand you know it's preseason they're not taking the three points they decided to uh, to go for it on all four downs they come up empty-handed, so they don't. Uh, they aren't able to use Tua's uh, gift to their advantage. Then the next snap that Tua takes nearly goes over his head, gets a little tipsky, uh, hands it. Uh, <laughs> Mostert ends up with the ball, and he nearly gets sacked in the end zone. So everything that was that ends up being good, it really could have ended up being a a heinous disaster for the Miami Dolphins. It was just. Um, you know, this close to 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 Moster us uh, having a a near pick six and a safety on a snap, but if all if you know it, this ain't almost this ain't horseshoes, dude, and it didn't happen, and so then the Miami Dolphins ended up getting on a nice little drive. You got to see uh, Tua Tungavailoa really put things together for this team and uh, and and march the team downfield in a in a really calculated well mixed up type of drive and you know i thought that was a, the great thing most had a great run to kind of get them out of hell and put them in uh in a, in a great spot to where they get to a third and eight and uh two ends up getting a pass to uh to durham Smythe. um and then on the next third down which is where the dolphins had a lot of success today great pass to tyree kill for 13 yards so puts him in a good spot um you know, they get to third down again. Tua finds Ahmed. Big gain for 16 yards. And the Dolphins just kept marching down the field, marching down the field, marching down the field. And eventually Raheem Mostert uh, gets it in there for the two-yard touchdown run, starts serving for the uh, for the touchdown uh, celebration. And it was a great drive, I thought, all around. It really, you know, Tua found a lot of his targets, had a nice pass to Braxton Berrios as well. Um, so a lot of people heavily involved in that entire drive. Um, and I think one of the big themes that came out of today was just, I mean, the running game was tremendous. The running game was tremendous all around from the offense. I mean, they really, we, we spent so much time this week guilty of it and this summer of talking about Dalvin cook and the addition of him, but man, not really anything negative you could say about any of the running backs today. I mean, all of them did really well. There was no Jeff Wilson, no miles Gaskin, so you got to see Mostert early. And then uh, it was really the Savan Ahmed show, to be sure. I mean, I mean, the only thing you could really say about Savan Ahmed today that was was uh, was a rough go of it was trying to block Will Anderson. And uh, they nearly had a disaster play on that one, which ended up being a touchdown drive. Uh, that, no, that one they ended up punting with the next drive they took. But that one, uh, that could have been a real disaster too. He uh, He got just absolutely trucked by... Anderson and then Skylar Thompson nearly has the uh, the fumble on the sack but he's able to recover so they get stopped on that drive but then man I mean like look they were him Skylar Thompson and Savon Ahmed were a, a dynamic duo 
to help them uh, put together another. Like one of the things that was a big theme for the Dolphins today, they were able to just put together really, really solid drives. You know, took a lot of time off the clock, really owned the time of possession from that standpoint. Um, And I think that that's, uh, you know, I I know it's preseason. I know that this is a, uh, I know that this is, you know, they're not facing defenses, exotic defenses. They're not facing the best team in the world of the Houston Texans. They're kind of going through a little bit of a rebuild, but you know, one of the things that you have to love is that no matter what the body was that was out there, they were having success. You had a chain having really nice runs today. You had Ahmed having really nice runs today. We know Moser was effective today. Um, the dude from BYU, the undrafted, uh, rookie, it was, uh, was it Chris Brooks? He was, he was even looking good in the second half of this game and the Dolphins for this game, uh, nearly had six yards of carry Ahmed 12 carries, 99 yards, eight yards per carry. Chris Brooks, 11 carries for 47 yards, 4.3 a carry. Mostert, six, six for 30, five yards a carry. Eight chain, six for 27, 4.5 yards a carry. So the Dolphins running backs, I mean, they really uh, they really showed out today, and that's even without one of your two-headed monster and Jeff Wilson being out there, not having all of your starting offensive line out there, um, rotating a lot of different guys. Yeah, I mean, look, there were possessions you could look and say, hey, man, the heat was really brought on certain points. There were dangerous plays. You know, not every play is going to be perfect. You got to like, learn to, to, to die with some of them, certainly, but... Overall, I mean, the Dolphins really smacked around the Texans today. They they really did. They were um, very, very impressive. And the fact that they were able, I think there were two things. You love the fact that they were able to control this game. The run game looking fantastic. I think that Skyler, this is definitely an interesting thing, is that he got today kind of as his showcase. And I think for Skyler Thompson, he played a really nice game. Um, it wasn't like... The thing that I liked about today's game with the Dolphins and all the success that they had on third down is like they would have plays where like, ah, that's 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 going to come to bite them in the ass and things can kind of unravel. And it just looked like whenever there was a negative play for the Dolphins, it always felt like they just had a great answer to it and could keep the drive going and could have some success. The game just went final. The Dolphins do win uh, 28 to three. So we can officially put this one in the books. And uh, I can close my laptop there to put the video down. Um, But yeah, Dolphins, you know, were able to just do a much better job because I think with last week, one of the things that was frustrating on drives were like, yeah, they could get drives going. But once they got to the red zone, just things would unravel. We know that the ending was uh, was really, really rough and uh, and kind of snowballed and made things look a lot worse. But, you know, for from an offensive perspective today, you know, very, very impressive from just the, the big time throws. I mean, if you looked at the receiving yards, there was no guy who like really dominated and said, wow, that guy just had an amazing game, but there were just a couple of big catches, a few by Barrios uh, and big spots, one from Tua and uh, and a couple to uh, from Skylar Thompson. And then uh, Cedric Wilson, oddly enough on a couple of four downs, Cedric Wilson, they really were trying to, uh, to showcase today. In fact, the first play that uh, Skylar Thompson went out there was a bomb to Cedric Wilson. Would have taken a hell of a catch by him to haul it in, but he did go to him on two fourth downs to keep drives going. And so he showed up, he showed up clutch in those spots. And I think that, you know, you just have to be pretty pleased with what Skylar Thompson brought to the table today. It's going to be interesting to see where this QB battle goes because we're in a spot right now where, okay, he basically got this entire game outside of the two Tua drives. And really, it was one Tua drive. It was one Tua critical mistake um, where, you know, he gets picked off. And, you know, I know he was getting under pressure and things like that. But it was one Tua near uh, interception of Denzel Perryman. That was one drive. And then the other drive, fantastic, calculated after the uh, adventure that was the near safety. So... You liked what you got from, I think, the first team on that spot. And then from Skyler's perspective, he basically got the whole game. He did get, get crunched on at one point and went to the medical tent. So Mike White did get out there for a little bit, but didn't have any passing attempts. He got sacked once, um, wasn't out there very much, and then Skyler got right back out there. So it is going to be interesting to see. I would imagine 
next week that two is either likely going to get a whole quarter or the first half. And then we'll see. I would imagine Mike White's going to get more opportunities um, because, you know, I think the impression from everybody is that Mike is uh, he's got to get blown out to, to lose the mantle of QB two. But, you know, it is interesting that 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 coach gave him the entire ride basically in this game and gave him a little bit more of a a fair shake with some guys out there. Uh, the starting line today had um, Win and Lamb in the left spots with Armstead out, and then of course we're trying to figure out what's going on with that left guard spot. Eichenberg was not active today, so we didn't really get any uh, developments there with him. He's been banged up. Um, but it was, uh, it was, it was pretty crazy. It, you know, it was funny. There was one thing that they show, they show this picture of Mike McDaniel on the broadcast of him as a Houston assistant. And I mean, it's crazy how like different he looks just like baby faced and, uh, you know, not with the, uh, the glasses at the time trying to get things going with that. And so, uh, I think at one point they had said, on the uh, that he was trying to quiet down the uh, the Texans crowd for his offense. Hey, listen, we're all having fun here, dude. We're all we're all just trying to to have it fun and uh, and trying to get things going. Um, I would say for any other battles that were interesting today, Julian Hill for tight end. You know, the Dolphins definitely looking to see who's going to get that spot that's next to Smythe. Uh, Julian Hill had a few nice catches today. And, uh, and looked pretty good, caught every target that went his way. Uh, I would say the only other, there's two more things I want to hop on before we wrap this puppy up. Uh, Devon A-Chain got hurt in this game. He got slammed onto his shoulder. So we'll see what the issue is with that, but that's what, that's a couple weeks in a row the rookies have gotten hurt with their shoulders. Happened with Cam, and now it happens with uh, A-Chain, who, yeah, he had a couple of nice runs. He had a, he had a, a couple of really explosive plays and showed out. It is going to be interesting, you know, <laughs> all the running backs played really well today. It's a hell of a battle that the Dolphins have in front of them. And uh, I guess now you, again, I know it's preseason, but I guess you understand why there was so much confidence in that room as to why they didn't feel like they need a free agent addition there. And with Ahmed, you know, he, he uh, you know, he definitely can show he's got that giddy up on this stuff. Got so much experience, got the experience advantage, I would say, um, on, you know, some of these young bucks, but I don't know. Maybe this showcases, maybe somebody says, hmm, I don't know, that guy, you know, I don't know, but he showed out today. I think, and, and, you know, even, a, you know, a guy like Cedric Wilson, who I don't know if anyone's taken that contract off the Dolphins hand, but you know, at least <laughs> teams looking around the league who maybe are shorthanded like oh that guy exists you know so i think for the dolphins were trying to showcase any of their guys that they may not even go into the season with <laughs> this uh this was a pretty uh this was a, a a nice performance from yeah two guys i don't know how much you're gonna lean on them in the regular season i don't know how much ahmed's going to get playing time in the regular season i don't know we know that last year cedric wilson didn't do anything in the regular season they had him doing damn punts at the end so that's going to be uh that's that's definitely going to be something to keep an eye on on the uh, on the back heels of this week and uh and seeing what goes uh into that the Dolphins will be back home practicing no joint practice this week before they go and take on the Jacksonville Jaguars for their final preseason game and then with Tua oh dude i was so excited about this did you guys see that Tua used uh his break fall today like he uh he was getting bared down on by one of the defenders and boom Broke his fall, just like he was in a gi, dude, for BJJ class. Mwah. Thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. So, shout out to Mike McDaniel. You did what I wanted, dude. Wet my whistle. Great job by the run game today. Defense, I mean, damn, dude. You you know, you held him to three damn points. You know, did a did a great job. You were put in some really gnarly spots, uh, especially by the offense with that bad turnover early in the game, and you held strong there, so... You know, can't say enough about the performance that they had. They looked absolutely sensational. Both quarterbacks were held under 100 yards throwing. So defense really just showed showed out pretty much everywhere today. They they looked uh, they looked really really strong. Again, understand the situation in the team that they were going up against, but 
that's what you would want. If you were going against a rebuilding team that wasn't looking fantastic, you would like them to go out there and just give up three points. So really just solid effort all around. And I think gets everybody a little more geeked up for the season after what I think has been a little bit of uh, uneasiness from everybody. You can kind of have that little exhale before we go into this uh, dress rehearsal against Jacksonville. 